Welcome to our installation tutorial video for the Blue Eddy EP760 and B500. Today, I'm here to guide you through the installation process of EP760. To kick things off, please take a moment to go over the manual disclaimer and the electricity application notice. To get started, make sure you have the following. Step 1. Unboxing. Now, take a look at what's inside each package. Here are all the accessories that come with the EP760. And that's what's in your B500 Accessories Kit. Next, I'll walk you through an overview of the equipment and how to connect it all up. Step 2. Stacking up the equipment. To start, stack up the EP760 and B500. Place the base on the ground and adjust the height of the leveling feet until the base is stable. Keep a distance of 5 cm to 5.5 cm between the base and the wall. Place the B500 battery pack on the base and align the bumps with the notches to secure it in place. To assemble the mounting brackets, attach the brackets to the battery packs first. Then, tighten the nut and make sure the bracket is tight against the wall. Mark the drilling position on the wall. Remove all units. Drill a pilot hole at the marked position. Hammer in the expansion bolt until it's flush with the wall. Repeat the same process for the remaining pre-drilled holes. Finally, move all units back and secure them to the wall. Step 3. Connecting with battery with sub-panel with the IoT controller. Remove the protection covers from the positive and negative terminals on the left side of the EP760. Remember, the EP760 power cable has a quick-release structure on one end only. Connect the battery power cables between the EP760 and B500 units. You'll hear a click when the connection is properly secured. Once connected, put those protective covers back on.
For the battery expansion cables connecting B500 units, both ends of the cable have a quick-release structure. Connect the battery expansion cables between the B500 units. You'll hear a click when the connection is properly secured. Both ends of the communication cable have a quick-release structure. Connect the communication cable. The ground wire is a yellow-green copper wire. Connect the ground wires between the EP760 and B500 units and between the B500 units. Step 3. EP760 connects with subpanel. Remove the protection casing from the load cables. Attach the OT terminals to the cables and connect them to the appropriate grid or backup terminals. Put the casing back on and tighten the cable securing covers. Step 3. Connect the IoT controller. Plug the controller into the inverter and then secure it to the wall. Step 4. Installing a covers. Attach the left and right side covers to the EP760 and B500 units. Insert the rubber cover into the EP760 handle. Step 5. Connect with subpanel into the main panel. Firstly, find the electricity meter in the distribution box. Clamp the EP760's XC to one live wire of the main circuit. The arrow points to the grid. After that, find a terminal block on the circuit or somewhere around the bus bar. Connect to the terminals of 2PRCD, residual current device, with one live wires and one neutral wire. The sequence from left to right is LN. Connect one live wires from the other side L terminal of the 2PRCD to the 1PMCB, miniature circuit breaker terminal. 
The sequence from left to right is L, N. Connect one live wires from EP760's grid cable to the other side of the 1PM CB and connect one neutral wire to the EP760 grid cable. Connect PE cable, the PE bus bar. Connect the EP760's BACKUP cable to the two P transfer switches terminals. L to pin 2, N to pin 6. Connect PE cable, the PE bus bar. Then connect one live wire and one neutral wire from the 2PRCD terminal to the 4, 8, N terminal of the 2P transfer switch, L to pin 4, N to pin 9. Select some critical loads that need to operate during mains failure, E, G lights, refrigerators, circuits supplying working computers or routers. Connect critical loads to the transfer switch, L to pin 0, N to pin 5. Please note that the total power of essential loads is less than 7,600 W. That's all about connecting EP760 to the home distribution box. That's all for today. We hope you have a pleasant and enjoyable user experience. Thanks for watching and see you next time.